Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're back to another tennis lesson and this one is on the most important shot in tennis, the serve, and in particular, the height of your ball toss. Something that so many players get wrong and hopefully in this video, I'm gonna help you to figure out what the perfect ball toss height is for you. Let's get into it. Welcome back and thanks as always for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts, providing content like this for tennis players, parents and coaches to get more out of the sport. If you end up enjoying this video or gaining something from it, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel as it really helps me to produce more free content like this video and others. So let's get into it. When it comes to throwing up the ball for your serve, there are so many variables. In this video, we're gonna be purely focusing on the height of your toss and whether you should have a higher ball toss or a lower ball toss. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about the difference between a high ball toss and a low ball toss. And then if you hang around to the end of the video, I will help you with your serve and help you to decide which is gonna be best for you. It's a minefield when you're watching the professionals as some players throw the ball very, very low and others throw it extremely high. You can see here in these short clips of Dolgopolov, Oscar Otte and Nick Kyrgios who all have a very very low toss and when you compare them to other players like Sharapova who had an extremely high ball toss as well as Thomas Burdich. Let me know in the comments below if you can think of any other players that had either an extremely low or an extremely high ball toss. But the real question is what is the right height for you? Now spoiler alert I actually sway towards a lower toss when I'm working with most of my players. I'll tell you why in a second. But at the same time, there is a case for having a higher toss for some players. And again, I'll explain that too. The height of your ball toss really impacts two parts of your serve. Firstly, it really impacts the amount of time you have on the ball. If you throw the ball higher, clearly you have much more time to execute your swing. Now you might look at this thinking that having more time is a good thing, but most of the time on a serve, you actually don't want too much time. A common mistake that I see players have when they throw the ball too high is they pause in what we call the trophy pose. Now, if you look at my serve here, I'm gonna do it without a ball just so you can see what I'm talking about. Players that throw the ball higher than they need to end up pausing here which actually really limits the amount of power and fluidity that they can have on their serve. Players with a lower ball toss don't have the time to find that pause, so they have a much more fluid swing and fast service action. I also notice that some players that have a really deep knee bend on their serve, if they throw the ball too high, they end up sinking down into that knee bend and they actually have to pause in that low position, meaning that they've lost all power. Ideally, you want that knee bend to be down and up quite quickly, which is why sometimes having a slightly lower toss can help you to use that leg power. Now, when we're talking about the fluidity of your service motion, from this position here roughly on your serve, we want the motion to be continuous. We want the racket drop, and the racket drive to happen all in one motion. If you pause in this position, you lose that momentum, you lose that fluidity, and your serve becomes very forced, lacking in power. So the only way that you can generate good power and have good efficiency on your serve if you have a high ball toss is to have a much slower backswing. If you can slow this part of your serve down whilst the ball is up in the air, it will still allow you to keep your fluid motion through the ball. You'll notice that lots of players actually find a pause lower down in this position as opposed to finding their pause up here. By pausing in this lower position, again, like we said before, it allows you to get that drop and drive, keeping your fluid motion. So if you are a player who has a high ball toss and your timing works well with that, consider where in your swing you're making that pause. And if you want to take the pause out of the equation completely, which is a good idea, try to have a slightly slower backswing, giving that ball more time to get to its peak before you drop and drive through the ball. Now, the second thing that the now, the second thing that the height of your ball toss affects is your contact point. And if you think about it like this, a really high ball toss has to fall before you make contact with the ball. The bigger the distance the ball has to fall before you hit it, the faster the ball is going to be moving downwards. 
Now, if you're trying to make a really clean contact in the center of your strings, it's much tougher to do if the ball is moving down quickly. It's far harder to find that contact point. Whereas if you throw the ball lower, you can actually make contact with the ball at the ball's apex or at the top of its height. When the ball gets to the top of its height, it actually slows down in the air, almost feeling like it's hovering, ready for you to make contact with it. A lower toss makes it much, much easier for you to find the sweet spot on your strings. However, if you're not used to that lower toss, you might feel like your service action is rushed. Now, to be super clear when I'm talking about a low ball toss, you still need the ball toss to be high enough so that you can fully extend to the ball. As long as your ball toss goes higher than you can physically reach when you're making contact, now for me, if I'm standing still, I can reach this high but when I actually hit my serve, I get off the ground, so I need to consider that as well. I want to throw the ball slightly higher than I can physically reach, so that when the ball meets the apex right at the top, that's when I start accelerating towards the ball. So you will see a very small drop, but that small drop isn't traveling very fast, so I can still find a very, very clean contact. You can see the difference between these two serves. The first three are my normal serve where I throw the ball a bit lower. Now I'm still extending fully up to the ball and I'm getting off the ground. However, you can see the distance between the apex and my contact point is extremely small, meaning that I'm able to get a much cleaner hit. Whereas on the next three serves, I'm making an effort to throw the ball higher. And you can see here, the difference between the ball's apex and my contact point is much bigger, making it harder for me to find the sweet spot and find my timing. When I do this higher ball toss, you'll notice that my backswing is much slower, buying myself a little bit more time before hitting the ball. So using this information, how can you decide whether you need a higher ball toss or a lower ball toss? And it simply comes down to this. If you're a player that struggles to time your serve well and you often hit it off center or on the frame, then I think that you should attempt to throw your ball a little bit lower than you normally do. That's of course if you're throwing it above that height of maximum reach. The exception to that is if you're already throwing it low, maybe too low, you might need to increase the height to give yourself a little bit more time. But generally, the players that I feel that struggle with timing the most are actually throwing it way too high. However, if you're a player that has a much slower backswing and you need that extra time, then throwing the ball higher might be something to consider. The best way for you to figure it out is to actually video yourself serving. If I were you, I would set yourself up on the baseline like so and have the camera at the side of you, far enough away so that you can see the height of your ball toss. Hit five to 10 serves so that you can get a good idea of where your average ball toss is. And once you know, you'll be able to see whether you think it's too high or too low. I guarantee that what you see on video will be different to what you feel when you're hitting your serve. So that exercise alone will be an eye opener for you. Now, all of this information about the height of your ball toss is relevant for your flat serve, your slice serve, and your kick serve, although there may be a couple of small differences when it comes to hitting spin on your serve. But generally, you want your ball toss to be fairly similar so that you're not giving any signals to your opponent at the other end. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you've got any questions about it, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to all of you. Hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you in next week's video. Take care.